Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Uh, today I am playing with Stinger Transitions and yeah, well it's got nothing to do with actually getting stung or bees or wasps or anything like that. It's, it's OBS and uh, transitioning between scenes. So I'm in hit film at the moment. Because I'm going to make the Stinger transition for OBS using HitFilm. Just going to make a, a new, completely blank thing. All right, a blank thing there. Now the thing when you're making Stinger transitions um, is you need video output with alpha. So you don't have to use HitFilm. Honestly, anything that can output. Um, video with an alpha channel. That's all you need. All right, so we'll have a new composite shot because, well, yeah, reasons. Now, Stinger transitions are quite simple. Um, we're gonna make this one two seconds long. And basically you start with a transparency, then somewhere around the middle, you make it like no transparency. <laughs> And then at the end, it's completely transparency again. And that's that's your stinger transition. So we'll just do a really quick one here. So just adding a new plane and uh, we're just gonna make it do something really basic. Let's just put a rectangular mask on there. There we go. And if I feather the roundness on this, so at the beginning we want it completely transparent, somewhere around the middle, we want it to completely fill the screen, and then at the end we want it completely transparent again. Fantastic. All right, let's do that. We'll just uh, convert those keyframes to smooth for reasons. Have a quick look at what happens. There we go. So that's a really, really basic transition. So we'll export that. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Now that's fantastic. Apart from that's a two second video clip and it's 19 meg. Now we could sort of use it as it is, but 19 megs a little bit big. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use FFmpeg and we're going to make that a whole lot smaller. Okay, so uh, the export has finished from HitFilm and as you can see, we've got a 19 meg file there. Um, I've renamed it to Stinger2 just for ease. Now, the 19 meg file is fantastic, but by far the best thing you can do is to run that through FFmpeg and make the whole thing a lot smaller. So, that's the command. Our null already exists, yes please. And this is a two-pass encoding um, using VP9, which also um, maintains the alpha channel. So, fantastic stuff. Now, if I have a quick look at that and see how big it is, we have gone from 19 meg to, oh yes, it really is indeed that tiny, it's 250K. So it's quite a good uh, compression. Um, yeah, yeah, certainly 
a lot better than 19 meg. Now, um, so that's the transition file. Fantastic. Now, all you have to do um, is put that into OBS. So let's go to OBS. Okay, so here I am in OBS playing with my strawberry and uh, I want to add a new stinger transition to everything. So uh, we've got the plus down here. Stinger! Yeah! Enter name of stang transition. Stinger. Whatever. Okay, so there's my stinger. And the transition point in milliseconds was in the middle. We can preview the transition. And that, that looks fine to me. So now I've got a stinger transition. So anytime you change scenes, You get that little wipe. Mmm. Stinger transitions. So many of them. There you go. Stinger transitions. Easy as pie.